my friends convinced me to go and do the Beyonce audition. And I did it and I went and, and we did it in Atlanta at first. So there's this first round of, of uh, auditions in Atlanta. I do that and I get a call late at night saying, you know, that, you know, you were chosen to go to New York to for you know, go to the next level of the yeah, audition. Yeah. So I get to New York and um, and it was crazy because there are like all these women there who I have never met. The, in Atlanta, I was pretty confident in Atlanta about you know, that I, that I would, that something good would happen. Yeah. Even though I didn't consider, I never considered getting the gig until I got to New York. Then when I got to New York, I was like, this could really be cool. <laughs> <laughs> it takes me a minute to get it. You know, I'm like, wow, this could, this actually could be really cool. And especially when she came into the auditions, then I thought, this is really real. This, this could is really be cool. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, this could really be cool because she's sitting there, Jay Z sitting there, you know, and I'm a rapper who plays bass, so I'm like, yeah, <laughs> this could really be amazing for, for me, you know. And what was there? Was so, there just um, sort of was there how many bass players were there at this point going for the gig? Man, I don't know. There has to be at least seven of us, right, you know. Okay, yeah. Maybe at that point when we got up there. There were probably seven of us, and we did two days. So after the first day, there were probably three of us. And toward the latter end of the first day, there were two of us. Yeah. And there was this Canadian woman. I do not remember her name. I don't. She was so good, too. She was really good. And um, and we went back and forth, you know, for a while. Yeah. And, uh, and I, you know, and I'm like, oh my goodness, am I going to get this? I was playing my Getty Lee four string, Getty Lee bass. It's a great bass. Jazz bass, um, yeah. It was given to me as a birthday present that year, that bass. It was really? Given to me as a present that year. And the only time I played that bass was during the Beyonce auditions. <laughs> <laughs> it obviously worked out for you. <laughs> it did. It did. I need to pull that bass back out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So that was really, you know, after, after we battled, we did this whole battle, and then she had the drummers battle, and we played the same song a million gazillion times. You know, we danced, we had learned some dance moves and played, see if we could dance and play. And um, and eventually her father um, called us all, called, you know, he, named, he called everybody's name who was going to make the gig, uh, told us to mount up, get on your instruments, and we thought we were about to run it again, and he just stood there and says, Beyonce's chosen you all to be in her band. Wow. And I'm just looking around the room like, oh my God, this is amazing. And, we... and he's like, and go home and get ready because you're going to play the BET Awards in two weeks. Wow. So, and, that, it, we was, were and was awesome. that just like five years full on? Full on. I mean, nonstop. Yeah. From there, from then on, we were nonstop. We, any artist <clears throat> does as much promotion as Beyonce does and did at that time. I mean, we played every single TV show that aired in the world. In the music show that was in, that aired in the world, we were there. In small little towns in Germany to Japan, just traveling nonstop. Just, and this was just a promo tour. So before we even went on a tour, we were traveling, playing Deja Vu all over the world. Wow. It was... Has she, has she got a crazy, crazy work ethic? What? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's brutal, but it's, it's the reason why she's as, as huge as she is. You know what I mean? First, nonstop. Nonstop. And, and for you seeing you know, that... And you never hear her say I'm tired. And because, like, obviously, like, you wanted to be an artist in your own right, and you are now as well. Was that kind of, in, was that really inspiring, seeing somebody doing that? Absolutely. You know, sometimes I would stand on stage and just look around at everything that was happening. At the production, at all the people who were in the building working from the concession stand to the gaffers. You know, yeah, like, yeah. everybody who was in the building is working because of this one woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was be that would be overwhelming, you know, just to think about that. This one little woman, she's not that that big, yeah. you know. <laughs> you know, she she's a short 
amazing, powerful woman who is responsible for all of these people and the lives that they have outside of yeah the families the, and yeah their families and everything mortgages you know, like, and yeah and i was just like wow that's incredible yeah you know